Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q4 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 108. Number of black box. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. So this one, um... Yeah, this one is a little bit... Uh, could be a little bit tricky if you haven't looked at it, but the first thing you should do is look at the constraints of this one, because it dictates you know, what kind of things you can do. And this is a constraint E problem. Uh, the, the first thing to notice is that RNC or M and N, uh, M and M, hmm, is ten to the fifth. So if you do a, if you try to actually create the entire matrix, it's going to be too big. Ten to the ten is a lot of cells. Um, but notice that the only only ten to the fourth of them can be black, right? So that means that you have almost like uh, the idea then is to create a sort of a sparse matrix almost in in, in this way. Uh, that means that most of your blocks will be zero, except for things that are not zero, I suppose. But most of them will be zero. And how many blocks can each black cell affect, right? Well, each black cell could be be in at most four blocks. And so each black cell can only affect 10 to the fourth times four. Um, oh, sorry, not, did I say each one? I mean, in total, it can only affect 10 to the fourth times four cells or n four times four times n cells. So yeah, so that's basically the idea there, right? And and once you realize that, then we, we should do something with respect to that. And that's basically what we did. Uh, here, you have to be very careful. Uh, there, uh, but I think the test cases actually cover uh, the, at least the issues that I have with the edge cases. But maybe there are other, other edge cases. Yeah. And the idea here is just that, you know, you count the contribution by by each cell since each, each black cell is unique. So you basically go, okay, well, this is the, if the black cell is here, um, what is the, what is the, what is the four blocks that contain it, right? And you have to be careful so that, you know, um, you don't go, you don't count once that are off the board, but if you have your if statements correctly, that's pretty much it. You do you do a collection of count of them. Um, you could probably handle this in different ways as well. And then after that, it's just about getting the frequency. And of course, and actually, this, I guess technically this is this, but because the zeros can never be in here because otherwise it would just not exist. But you could do zeros as, like I said, the number of total blocks minus, oops, minus the blocks that we have that has a non-zero value, and that's pretty much it. Uh, this is going to be, like I said, O of n, where n is the number of coordinates. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's, uh, let me know what you think, and you could watch me stuff it live in the contest next. Should be ideally right, but it's still not running anyway. So, so I guess we'll never know. All right, let's look at Q four. Okay, so there's some black cells. Okay, block is two by two. Number of blocks that contains exactly I like so. So three blocks contain zero. Uh -huh. I wanted to refresh, but I don't know if refresh would load. That's why I didn't refresh. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem like it worked. So curious. Okay. So I'm thinking this looks a little bit easy, so I'm a little bit confused. Oh, M times N can be big, I suppose. Most of these are going to be zero, so that's why it's fine. Right? So... Mm, this should be pretty straightforward still, though. So, yeah, 4X, 5...
I mean, it, it, it doesn't even have to be this. But. And I think this should be fast enough anyway. Okay, so if it's to do if this is black cell, then it affects the coordinates of do 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 right. So for This it needs to be, to be honest. That's um, but and we don't even need this, I don't think, in theory. So we just need someone like um, count is equal to do 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 Then something like maybe that's not true. Yeah, maybe that's not true actually. Okay, well. table I think that's it uh, maybe off by one but it seems like it's okay right, let's see uh, this one I, it's a little bit different concern because I think it should be right I'm just worried about the time constraints so it's a little bit of a though maybe not maybe i shouldn't be that confident about it <laughs> let's, see. let's at least get the examples right though <laughs> So I use collection here, so maybe I need to yeah, import connections. Awful. Ah, so this is wrong actually. Oh, I, I did forget some stuff I that I wanted to do, like start off zero with R minus C over some. Um so I'm definitely will have to do that. So yeah, so um, zero is equal to sum of f, um, or something like that. Let me copy and paste that. Actually, again, I mean this would have added like ten seconds of debugging. Should have been fine. 
Maybe. 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 I said maybe. Hmm. Did I do something wrong? Uh, I'm still getting it wrong, but. Oh, 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 I did all times C. That should be R minus 1 minus C minus 1. Yeah. Because that's number of blocks. Also, ideally, it would have taken me like two seconds to fix. But it's still wrong, but. Well, let me copy it here. But I can at least take a look into why. Tell me why. It's very wrong now. Why is it thinking of seven? Am I putting in the right thing? So put zero zero, that should only affect one, right? Uh, I don't know why I couldn't put okay, that still doesn't work, so let's see. Yeah. I could just pr print it. Oh, 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 I, I messed up. This should be Nate, um, minus this. That's why. Okay. One print statement fixes it, but. So, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Yep, and now it works. Oh, wait, no. Well, it works for this one anyway. This one I'm a little bit off. Hmm, let's see. Well, one, three, and two is a little bit weird. How does this even, what? So there's two, there's five things. Why are there five things? There are one, two, three, four, zero, zero. Oh, zero, two. Oh, I see. I, I have to just modify this statement somewhere. Uh, okay, so this contributes. Basically, this contributes to previous thing. If okay, I have to do some if additional if statement, um, which is that on the negative and it's fine, but on the current one, um, it has to be actually because this is the left corner, so this is this plus one. Uh, okay, fine. Something like this. Um, okay. Uh, now I have to type it twice. And then that should be good, I think. I mean, I don't know if this, I count this as, you know. I mean, this definitely counts as time spent, but. Like, it's not like I spent it half an hour on this one, it would have been really easy. And then now, now I get the right end. Ooh. Mm. Still, off. why am I getting a one here for zero? Hmm, let's see. Seven off by one, sum of F. Oh, this is, I had a typo in my thing, on my, no, that's not true. I was looking at a different thing. 
Uh, hmm. What? Why is my finger on? Four. Oh, uh, so I forgot values. Whoops. Okay, I mean, that's also a pretty bad typo. Actually. But now it seems like it's good and it probably should be good because it's really, like, other than silly off by once and literal typos like this. Uh, but maybe I was rushing a little bit just because I couldn't really, you know, do anything. But yeah, I think this is Yeah, I mean, maybe there's a, an edge case on these, but I feel like I could have resolved it pretty quickly. I don't know, it is what it is. There's no way it's counting now. Alright, so Q3 would have been okay. Uh, let's look at Q4. Uh, looks okay, so let's give it some minute. Hopefully no one, this one, I, we'll see. Okay, so I would have gone all four with no wrong answers. Yeah, that's all I have for this one. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.